of trouble. And, and, that, and the body language starting to droop a little bit there for Yako. Well, because he feels like he's playing some playing of his well. best tennis. And if you, you just come off the throttle a little, Federer's all over. You get just, there's no free point for him. There's a freebie. Good serve. Well, you know that Federer can, you know, his, his ability to maintain the level, you know, it's just a normal level for him, this. And he can do it for game after game, but most mortals can reach their peak and stay with him for a while, but they can't maintain it. for this set, second for the match for Neiman and it's a, a part of the game that he can occasionally throw in a few doubles. Serve pretty good tonight though, 60% first serves in. muttering to himself they're not happy with that backhand I think you know, part of the reason he has trouble against Rafa is that that heavily spun left handed forehand that goes across to his backhand the quality of their defensive skills makes it a little bit more difficult or quite a bit more difficult yeah. oh, what a good eye there just drops the racket head out of the way and another was Barramundi and the fish and chips. I could tell around that batter. Have you ever caught a barrel money? No. no. You've got to be good to do that. Yeah. Well, it'll be nice for Neiman to at least hold a serve here. Oh, did you want me to ask? No, no. Sorry, no. Fitzy. I, I, I didn't reply. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't need you to ask. I just let it go. The, the answer is yes, though. You feel a bit sorry for, you know, a competitive player, you know, who's such a world-class athlete and, and tennis player in his own right. You know, when the realisation hits you so dramatically that you're just not, you're not as good as the guy down the other end. It's, it's hard to take for a competitor. But he, he can hold his head up here. He's, he, he's hit a lot of good shots, hasn't he? And there's been a lot of tight games, as I've just mentioned. He just can't <laughs> win the vital point. He's had break points. He's had game points. What I admire a lot about Neiman is he comes out of that northern winter 40, 50. in Finland. He comes to the heat of Australia and he's he's like an Iron Man usually. There's a lot of five setters in Grand Slams and he's tough. Full night at Rod Laver Arena, Wednesday the 8th. He won't come down and play or well, grace our uh, courts with his with his play for too many more years, you wouldn't think. Hopefully it's three or four or maybe five. Todd, do you think he can last that long? Oh, five is a lot. He's playing some good stuff here, though, <laughs> even by his standards. You know, I wonder whether, um, if he were to win a Grand Slam, let's say, Wimbledon this year, 
that, 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 whether he might do something like Pete Sampras did and that was it. That's the end of it. I think he, he wants to keep playing. Sampras, of course, won the US Open and never played another tournament after winning that. You're a long time retired. I got the feeling in doing the pre-tournament interview with him that he intends to be around for a while. I hope so. He's trying to finish the match right here. He's only two points away. Federer, and we've seen a full repertoire really tonight. for the match when we come back after this break. He leads 5-2. That leads 5 games 2-2. Two, two. Pat Rafter Arena is absolutely packed tonight. Roger Federer is in town. He's serving for the match. sure the crowd would be wanting to see a little more this match just over an hour I'm not sure they're going to no nope. I think this is it Forty love and triple match point Thank you. 